Well, first of all, who can discern the motives? Uh, and quite honestly, I have not seen the evidence that actually was, was Russia. I'm, I'm assuming that's true, but what did the, who did they hack into? Was it the DNC? Was it John Podesta's? I, I haven't seen that evidence, but let's assume, let's assume that's true. Who, who can say what their motive was? We do know in Eastern Europe and other places they are spreading disinformation. Their goal to be is to destabilize regimes and to really get the public in different countries to believe nothing's true. You can't rely on any piece of information. So th this has been their mo motive or method of operation for years in other countries. Uh, they're trying to do the same thing in, in America. So the Democrats are playing into Russia's hands, Senator, by pushing uh, their concern over fake news? Well, they're certainly, they're certainly playing politics with this. Again, this isn't to say that we shouldn't be concerned about any foreign government's uh, interference into our elections, but this is happening worldwide. And uh, what we really need to be concerned about is the type of cyber attacks, for example, we believe is Russia, that took down Ukraine's electrical grid. Uh, those are the things we really, we need to be concerned about all of this, but we need to really strengthen our defenses against cybersecurity. We, we've passed some Senator, measures, Senator? some first steps. Go ahead. Senator, uh, this truck here, you just essentially made the case that Russia is trying to destabilize Western democracies. Any Democrats? Yes, they are. They, 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 absolutely. Um, and you're talking about security. Isn't it time for the United States to do something about this? Absolutely. Uh, uh, well, what? Let me ask you this. Let's, so, so, hey, motive, let's put it this way. Set, more, 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 more than serious consequences. You know, that, that's all we've heard they? out of. Yeah. Well, what should uh, they be? All we've heard out of this administration is there are going to be serious consequences, and obviously Vladimir Putin is not shaking his boots. Uh, we, we have offensive capabilities. I think very quietly, for, through diplomatic channels and other channels, we ought to be laying out this is exactly what the consequences are going to be if this continues, and if something happens, we quietly enact those types of consequences. But that has not been what's happened in this administration. Uh, I'm looking forward to working with the new administration who will approach the Russians and the Chinese and the Iranians with, from a position of strength right. rather, rather than have a, a strategy of basic withdrawal. And that's, you know, that's why we've been so weak and why these you know, people like Russia have become so aggressive. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.